Today is Sunday, June 17th, 2012. And I'm standing in front of the Tucson Community Center here in Tucson, Arizona, getting ready for another Jehovah Witness Convention. Before I begin, I want to talk a little bit about the big news with Jehovah's Witnesses. The Jehovah's Witnesses have broken a world record. And I have an article from the newspaper about a judgment, a $28 million Jehovah Witness sex abuse case that just came down a couple of days ago. And uh, this was a, uh, a lawsuit that was won by a woman in, I believe, Oakland, California. Now, just want to let me read this to you. It says, a Northern California jury has awarded $28 million in damages to a woman who said the Jehovah's Witnesses allowed an adult member of a Fremont church to molest her when she was a child in the mid-1990s. Now, they say in the article that this is the largest single monetary judgment that has ever been leveled against, levied against any religious organization in the world. A single judgment. Now, we know that the Catholic Church has had uh, multiple millions of dollars of judgments in their sex abuse cases with their pedophilia, but this is a single individual suing the, the Jehovah's Witnesses and this $28 million has been now the, the single largest judgment awarded against any institution, religious institution. So once again, the Jehovah's Witnesses have, uh, have shown their hypocrisy because they claim to be the, the faithful and discreet slave. And I want to be fair here because other religious organizations, the Catholic Church, the Baptist, I mean the, the, the Jewish community, yes, all of those communities have had uh, their sex abuse cases also. But what's interesting about this one is that it's set a world's record. So Jehovah's Witnesses can be uh, not proud of this, but they have now have to answer that how they can make history by being guilty of some of the most atrocious crimes against the innocent uh, teenagers, younger than teenagers. This woman was, I believe, when she was molested, uh, she was, uh, I think, between the ages of 9 and 10 years old. And one thing before I finish, you know, there's a great cover-up of pedophilia and the Jehovah's Witnesses. If you do a little bit of research on this, you'll see that the, uh, the, the documentation, the, the workbooks, or the, uh, the leadership books have said that they have to go through, if there's a child sex abuse allegation against one of the members, an elder, they have to go uh, up the chain of command and they're, they're not allowed to go to the police. Uh, they want to keep all this in-house. So it's just another example of the problems that the Jehovah's Witnesses have. And if, you know, if you're a Jehovah's Witnesses listening to me right now, I want to encourage you to protect your children. Do your research. Don't listen to what I say. Get on the internet. And uh, you can look up this uh, case right here. Uh, the, the, the woman's name is Candace Conti. Candace Conti, $28 million judgment, and was just one in June of 2012.